We are ready to go with a Final Four officiating crew, Rod Groover, Brian O'Connell, and Evan Burroughs to call it today. And we are underway. Gardner Webb, the visitors, with the first possession. Johnson gets rid of it around the horn. Champagne feeds it inside, and a nice drive by Tony. Their first home games against St. Francis, Drexel, and Northern Illinois. Nice pass inside, results in a Champagne lay-in. Shot clock at eight. And on the inside, John Hewley puts it in. Nice tuck in move, and it drops. Kulabala. Nicely done by Kulabala. 12 0 is the correct score pit. Johnson again. This time, scores it on the drive. Strong at getting to the basket and finishing. At some point, Brian, for Gardner Webb. It, one of two things have got to happen. Somebody's going to drill one, as they do right here. It's good to be able to get get on board. You saw Selden knock down that shot. And again, coming into this game, this is a team that knocked down. It's a great pass and a finish by Champagny. Comes back to battle for that basketball. It's Gardner Webb an extra possession. And throwing this one up and in is DeMorian William. And the turnaround, Terrell Brown. Right there in the middle gives you a lot of opportunities. The first time we saw Champagne make a pass, a nice split by Cornwall to get to the basket. Played a pivotal role in a lot of those big victories that they had. And he stepped up his game on both the defense and offensive end. You see another move and finish by Cornwall, two, two consecutive baskets. Champagne inside. Gardner Webb out of bounds underneath. Catch and shoot, and nothing but net. Panthers really struggling from deep. And back to back threes for Lance Terry, and here come the Bulldogs. Final minute, first half. Turnaround for Champagne. He was wide open. Couldn't connect. Throws in the follow, though, off the glass. The screen is set. Johnson gets into the paint, gets rid of it. Champagne with a left hand, but the follow is good by Kulabali. And again, Gardner Webb, scrappy, coming up with the basketball. They find an open teammate and a breakaway for Lance Terry. Ill one handed. You see the pass ahead. Lance Terry being able to get a run out and being able to finish it strong at the rim. 31 20. Nicely done on the drive by Cornwall. More confidence going to the hole here. That's how they're going to get him going, put him in more pick and roll. Gordon gives it up. Tony, good body control. And nicely done with the left hand. Bulldogs turn it. Gordon missing. Champagne up and over. Everybody to score. Cornwall puts it up and in. We talked earlier about Lance Terry waking up to the game. It seems like Jane Cornwall is going to see a free Whoa. run by Falco. That's his first two after 19 at Western Kentucky. He's another guy that they need to get going. Little floater by Xavier Johnson. And then Tony, 61. The guys are a high volume says You see a nice pass and a dime to Reed. Sammy Toto has checked in for Gardner Webb. An air ball here, but rebounded, tipped. Out front. Xavier Johnson drills a three. And getting those three pointer shots up. Champagne. And again, this is where the weak part of the zone he said last time. Offensive rebound again for Gardner Webb, but that shot rejected. Champagne scoop to the hoop. Pitt gets a three attempt in the corner. No. Lance Terry with it. On the run out for Gardner Webb. Side steps the defender and lays it in. <laughs> Gardner Webb running again. And right to the hole. Follow is good. Had a pretty good streak here last three games. 
now feeds the post. Loose ball picked up by Jeffers. And this one dropped in. Being able to put their will on them and limit them in a lot of different things and not getting their offensive sets. And end of the clock runner. Shot clock at 11. And a nice drive to the hole that time. Number 19. Give him Kraft a, a nice run in the Big South. Champagne. And he gets that. Will go as a missed shot. He's got his 20th rebound. He's got to get another one, right, Brian? Got to. Cornwall miss. Gardner Webb gets the floater from Jordan Sears. Powering it up and in, John Uli. Punched ahead, and the slam for Xavier Johnson. Timeout, Gardner Webb. Players, Champagne getting a lot of damage done inside today, and Charles Bassey for Western Kentucky in the midweek game. Yeah, and Bassey, he is legit. He's a guy that can do it on both ends. Runner is short. It's a block. And a nice feed sets up the slam by Selden. But Selden's a pretty athletic guy. And a pro career with New Orleans, Memphis, and Chicago. Count that. And one. This will be the Panthers' fourth consecutive win after the St. Francis defeat. Long three is good for Gardner Webb. Last couple of seconds and claim victory. Here at Peterson Events Center as they pull away from Gardner Webb in the second half and end up winning it by 17, 67, 250. And what a day again.